So when we were first introduced to the customer via our partnership with Kawasaki Robotics, uh, some of the challenges that the customer was looking to address were consistency of the box fill, reducing some of the repetitive redundant motions that an operator would typically go through to, to do this operation. And also, as everybody is facing these days, the ability to hire consistent labor. The cell we've provided is a very flexible system. It's a very compact system that's all on a common frame and is very mobile and itself easy to be picked up and moved around as needed, which is typically common in a, in a packaging environment like this and with a customer that's just getting introduced to automation and, and is in a growth phase so they may need to move things around their facility periodically. In addition it uses the, the Kawasaki robots which were specifically picked for their reach and their payload and their speed capability. In general the system works by taking the product that's coming out of the customer's existing bagging machine. It is presented under the KV Finder vision system which takes a picture of the product as it's passing underneath the camera and from that image we acquire some data like angle and position on the belt and that data tied together with the conveyor uh, tracking data is fed to the first robot in the cell and tells that robot where or the part is on the conveyor belt. That way the robot has a series of pick points for each of the products and it can pick the product as it's ready to put it into the box. The data, that data is shared between both the robots and each robot will pick 50% of the product that is presented to it. So the system we've provided is flexible as well in addition of running multiple different types of parts and variants of parts. It's easy to add new parts to the system through the operator interface through the HMI. Uh, simply by adding a new part number, giving the, the bag dimensions and weight, and then also giving the box dimensions to the PLC for that particular product. The box conveyor is manually adjusted with a hand crank that has basically numerical values on a counter, and so those can be associated with each box size. So there will be a, a physical reminder for the operator each time they run that part again to adjust to a particular count on the box conveyor and then it's a matter of just typing in when they rerun the same product they just pull up the part number on the HMI, adjust the box conveyor to the correct count and they're ready to run.